Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Talking Mons. It is our Digimon Ghost Game Recap Podcast. My name is JD, and joining me, as always, is Jeanette and Gary. Hello. Hello. And today we're going to be talking about episodes 15 and 16, The Fortune Teller's Manor and The Man Eater's Forest. Very ominous uh, titles there. Uh, one deals with Digimon Satan, the other one deals with a living tree. But uh, we'll, we'll get into those. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with episode 15, The Fortune Teller's Manor. Uh, it's not so much a manor, it's more of a tent, but, um, so this one basically involves a mysterious fortune teller that is going around town, uh, enticing, seems like mostly teenage girls, because I guess teenage girls are getting their fortunes read, um, and, uh, luring them in, if only to turn them into statues, uh, because reasons. Because they feed on fear, I guess. World's worst fortune teller ever. Right? Yeah, I uh, don't understand why he has business. Yeah, I don't know how he has repeat business. If he has no people coming out, does it entice them to go? I don't know. I mean, if I mean, I won't dwell on the ceiling, but if I was in line for a fortune telling thing and someone went in and I didn't come out, I think I'd go out of line. I'm more concerned of, like, how are you getting, how are you getting new customers if no one if no one like comes back from it like he hires bots fake review bots i believe it five steps all the way it's digimon it. review bots the Ugh. little the little demon things they review they they do the reviews online yeah um so yeah we we're dealing with so it turns out it's like digimon satan and his weird little demon minions are doing this uh to, I guess they feed on people's fears and apparently doing this helps them materialize into the real world because I know like it's been a whole theme the last few episodes of like you know Digimon can learn how to become solid in the real world they can turn invisible at will or they can't be seen in the real world it's a whole like shifting of matter uh, thing for them but I guess scaring scaring and sucking the fear out of these children uh is what is helping these demon dudes um materialize into the real world um the other big th- takeaway from this is hey uh and Goramon finally evolved yeah, yeah. yeah. and i don't he's... know about you i don't know about you guys i was kind of disappointed by it oh he's sexy bunny man i like him i i'm not so disappointed by his evolution i'm more disappointed by the situation in which it happens yeah, yeah, it felt very weak sauce. Like, I mean, there is a way to do like an emotional crescendo with, I guess. Her, okay, just going to backtrack a little. It, did you notice her name changed from Ruri to Ruri? R U L I, and I don't know if that's like an error in the fan sobs or. I think it's always been Ruri. Oh my gosh, I think I'm it's like a lie. I think it's they. It, I think her name is spelled Ruri, but I don't think in Japan they spell with L's. So like it's they pronounce it Ruri. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well, anyway, to backtrack forward or go back forward, it they've done emotional crescendos with her, especially the episode where she first meets an Oramon, and this just I, there is things I liked about the episode, but it didn't feel as we've talked about in the past episodes something being earned. It did not feel earned in this one. It felt very slapped on. Yeah, but the situation could easily be earned in the like what they gave us in this episode. Yeah, it just. I guess I just didn't develop. I don't know if it was just underdeveloped or I don't know. Like that moment where she was about to get uh, f- stabbed with a fork uh, one- by one of the minion mm-hmm. devils. That would have been a perfect moment for like the evolution to happen. Like right then, block and let really escape. Yeah. Or if they had to show uh, and Ang- go to her friends during the fight. Then that kind of would make sense too. Well, apparently it's going to be a whole plot thing of because the end of the episode. Oh yeah, they were like, "Oh, she's keeping a secret." She'll tell us when she's ready, and yeah. then we too shall get our Digimon, and we'll all be Digimon friends together. Um. So I guess my problem with it is like, so when Gammon evolves and when Jellymon evolve for the first time, they did it. In a situation where, like, only they do it by doing the evolution can save the day or, or or solve the situation, and they did it like by themselves because they had this new power. Mm-hmm. It really 
bummed me out that Angoramon finally evolves and he seems to be in control of the situation, but he still needs Gamamon and Jellymon to come help him. <laughs> like they yeah. yeah. Gamamon I mean, has to evolve, like, because we can't go an episode without getting uh Battle Gamamon in here. Hmm. Um it just it kinda it kinda like made the 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 situation feel a little hollow that really Simbear and Go- and Goramon didn't get a, a real time to shine by himself. Uh, he still had to like share it with the other two. Yeah, I I agree. Like, at least go ahead. No, at least like give him a uh, uh, more of an upper hand during the first phase of the fight before needing help. I I just don't think he would need help. He should need help in the first place because like I feel like the whole point of like your first evolution is like you're really down in a fight, but by evolution you finally, like, you get the upper hand of the fight, you could finish it. Just like the other two got the opportunity to, but I just feel like they didn't give Angoramon that same opportunity. Yeah, I see what you mean now. <laughs> I, I kind of agree, and I def- I did feel that at the same time, seeing all three of them evolve, fighting yep. Spice Out. All the bases. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we also kind of got, like, so they, they beat back the, uh, the D- like, Digi Satan and his minions, and it's kind of implied that like there's something sinister more going on with these guys. And I, I I'm, I, I'm wondering what that's going to be about if, if they're like going to like be first arc bad guy or, or something. Oh, uh, we'll see them again eventually. Yeah. We've seen a few people again, but like, I don't know for whatever reason they, they struck me and the way they were talking just seems like they know a lot more than they let on. And, so yeah. I, I guess we'll see. Um, but overall, did you guys like this one? Not like it? I liked it. I didn't I like love this... it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it. I d- l- like this one more than the next one. Yeah. Next oh, I love the next one. <laughs> yeah. There's a few little thing that I find uh, funny about this episode. Uh, the first thing is in the opening shot, it's an art era that probably most people wouldn't catch, but the suspension bridge in the background was suspended in the wrong place. <laughs> there's no the, the, there's no foot of the bridge. Oh. Uh, that section shouldn't be hovering. Oh. Well, yeah, I know. Really, really random nitpick. It's the future, so maybe they figured out how to make it work, but... <laughs> and then uh, another thing, well, two other things. W- one thing that uh, I find it really funny is that and uh, Jellymon is just having a side hustle, like just going to random places to find junk and sell. And yeah, she's been, these... she's, she's been doing that for a while, man. She like goes out, like she's like, "What you need? I got you," and like goes out and finds stuff that the Digimon want. Like the whole, or well, the whole episode when they did the Fast and Furious thing with the with the nun. Like that mm. was just because Jellymon was like, she wanted a fast ride. I found her a fast ride. What do you want from me? And the last thing that I find that hilarious, also a little concerning, is that if you were looking for this mysterious fortune teller tent and it happened to be in, like, a vacant uh, construction site, would you go there or would you just wait until maybe the next sighting when it's in a park <laughs> or a plaza? Yeah! <gasps> Ignoramon is forklift, forklift certified now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He sure is. Jeremy Snow here, owner and editor-in-chief of The Geekly Grind. I'm interrupting your awesome, regularly scheduled programming to ensure that you know about our Geekly Grind podcast network, of which this show is a treasured member of. If you haven't had a chance to check out our site, you can do so at www.thegeeklygrind.com. And while you're there, check out the other members of our steadily growing podcast family, including the anime-centric Blake and Spencer Get Jumped, discovering new heroes and comic book keepers with Chris and Lance, exploring the vast universe of geekdom with Geek Exploration, or, of course, appreciating animation's finer details with the Ink and Paint Club. Escape your weekly grind at the Geekly Grind. Uh, Alright, well, that will get us in to episode 16, The Man Eaters for us. Um, man, it starts out pretty wholesome. Like, you know, Gamamon's been having a hard time. Hero's like, you know what? We're just gonna go out camping. And that's just, like... And we have this really adorable scene where Gamamon learns how to fish, and it's great. 
Uh, but turns out there's a giant fucking cherry mon abducting people. Uh, there's also a weird shell mon that lives in the forest, and I guess they're rivals or something. And it's just all kind of weirdness happening. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm kind of with Gary. Like I. I don't hate this episode. It's just kind of weird. And like, I definitely like the one before it better. But uh, yeah, what, what did you guys think about this one? I, I do admit, I was telling Gary about this before you came on, but buff old tree man is very upsetting. <laughs> well, especially yeah. like the way that he absorbed people. Like, I feel like that's more disturbing than just like eating someone. It was very tentacly. Yeah. I, I guess the one thing I take away, like, I, I enjoyed some of the quirkiness of this episode. Like, the fact that Hero just tries to go in the woods to move his Digimon and to get away from the others. And the others are like, we're going to come hang out in the woods together. Yeah. <laughs> Jellymon, Jellymon just, like, knows his password to his computer. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it killed me. But, like, so, uh, Ruli and, uh, Kiroshiro are trying to get a hold of him and they're like, what? It's like, um, they're like, I don't know, he's out in nature. Maybe maybe he'd, uh, he turned his phone off because he wants to be alone. <laughs> and really just like, who does that? Yes. <laughs> he says, who turns off their phone? <laughs> no, her delivery of that just made me laugh. It was pretty yeah. weird. Trust me. <laughs> there's a serene grace in turning off your phone and not being reachable. Right? So yeah. just, just put your phone down, kids. Just yeah. enjoy life. She has this like Gen Z energy, where like kind of like what a boomer thing to do, kind of. <laughs> she's 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 uh she's always glued to Instagram, so I mean. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely that uh that demographic. Um, but yeah, the I agree. Weird buff Cherrymon is is kind of weird. He's also like a weird old man and has a cane and everything, but he's the... like fucking making tree illusions to like abduct people and put them in a coma. Mm-hmm. Well, no, he doesn't put them in a coma. He's the one eating them. Yeah, it's he the... eats them. Oh, what's a snail? The the snail one. What's the name? Shalmon. Yeah, he is uh, putting the people in coma to protect uh, them because no, he doesn't right. know any other way to protect them from the tree. Okay, <laughs> no, no, uh, legit. Maury Shalmon's kind of, like I, he. I know he's the good guy technically in this situation, but he's kind of an asshole. He I is. Think yeah, I think it's more like they're both kind of assholes, and neither one of them is really the good guy. It's just Mara Sh- Shalmon is less of an asshole than the guy eat- or the tree it's, eating everyone. It's he, like Cherrymon is openly antagonistic. Mori Shalmon's just kind of like done with his shit. Yeah, <laughs> Mori Shalmon feels chaotic neutral. Yeah, where, yeah. Uh, Cherrymon is uh, chaotic evil. Yeah. <laughs> Although I am starting to see some like continuous storyline going on in the Digimon series, and I think feel like it's starting to get a little bit away from that episodic format as it builds more of a continuity. Yeah, I just butchered that word. Like for example, there's a whole we're looking back on the evil little dinosaur Digimon, and there's the whole um, not wanting to kill Cherrymon or whatever he's called because there were because Hero is reminded of the other Digimon's death, but when he realized what killing it would entail. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like the whole point of this whole like camping trip they're going on to is like he, like hero is, is it was thinking that Gaumon is having this a hard time because of, he had that dark evolution a couple episodes back. And so then like when Gaumon has to evolve in this one, like Hero's even a little hesitant to have him do it because he's like, well, what if he turns into, to Gulus again. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't want him to like get too uh, hyped up or like even use his firepower because he thinks that'll like make him turn again. Yeah. And he just doesn't want that to happen. And mm-hmm. <laughs> so, like I, I like in like not so many words that Morris Shelman calls him a pussy. Yes. <laughs> it's like look if you don't do it, this we're gonna lose, man. And they almost do lose. Yeah. I mean, thank God uh, the other two show up out of seemingly nowhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they just kind of do. Yeah. Um, yeah, after, like, Jellymon, like, goes on Hero's computer and, like, hacks into his email. I like she gets into his thing, and I was like, the first thing she'd do is go look, she says she's gonna look up his browsing history, and I'm like, there are a million ways this could go wrong, but I know this is a show for children. I mean, Hero is a pure boy. He won't. He won't have anything bad. I, just I don't know. Realize man. this. 
have you guys seen uh, Star versus the Forces of Evil? I love that show. There's a character there named Jaina, and she <laughs> is more or less like Jellymon. She yeah. just steals stuff, somehow knows everybody's social security numbers, and <laughs> wallets always end up in her hand somehow. Now, yeah, and I just said, Jellymon's got some serious Jaina energy. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, thank you, Gary. I would have never made that correlation. I've never seen the show, but I think I need to now. Oh, it's a great show. Um, the ending's kind of weird, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is... I, I like that Hero is, like, showing, like, some serious concern for Gammon and, like, what co- potential hazards he could be. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, the, I, honestly, I think the whole thing between Cherrymon and Mori Shellmon was kind of weird, uh, but it was just kind of a means to an end to, like, have a, a fight this episode, so... Yeah. yeah. I think cause... now that... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Well, you know, God forbid we have a Digimon episode without a fight. That can never happen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I did find it funny that they're, uh, they they bring up the fact that, like, oh, uh, people who go into this uh, this forest and disrespect the, the shrine get spirited away. And really is like, immediately, like, spirited away? That's great! <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to go do that right now. <laughs> He's I, crazy. I kinda, yeah, I kind of wonder what the... Um, people who run the little supply shop thought when they had all these people just come out of the woods after they said, nah, they're not really spirited away. They just skip out on the bill. <laughs> yeah. Which, what kind of place makes you pay afterward? Especially if they're, if it's, if they can uh, walk away that easily. Like you I'm pay not sure how the ahead of time is in Japan. Because there yeah. are a lot of places where you do like rent out places. I just don't know if it's before or after. Yeah, it's so know. long since I watched Lazy Camp. I can't remember. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So I we got some kind of plot with the the first episode here. The second one's more like an emotional uh kind of beat for an episode, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like that now that everybody got their evolution, the next uh goal, at least for Hero, would be is to find out how to control which evolution to come out. Hmm. Mm-hmm manually or of sort yeah he's I, I feel like he's got a little bit of control because i know i remember a couple episodes back where he like specifically needed the flying gamma on the blue one and they were able to get that out but i think mm-hmm. because they had the dark one and he's like doesn't really know if it can be triggered again um he's hesitant but i think he's a, a little more sure of it now um, mm-hmm. So I, I, I'd be interested to see if that's the direction they go, Gary, if like it's more hero, like trying to test out like, OK, can we control what control his evolution so we can like really make sure we avoid the dark one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe even like try to evolve, evolve in a situation without fighting as in mm-hmm. like just practice evolution for mm-hmm. at least them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know if we've ever really seen that a lot of just like. Evolving for practical reasons, not for battle reasons. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll that. see. That could, that'd be interesting. Uh, well, anything else you guys got for this week? I'm just kind of noticed that these past two episodes, it seems like our Digimon friends are making some very um, strong enemies. Mm-hmm. I don't know if the tree will ever appear again, but I know that Devil, who, by the way, I want to point out, he has 666 tattooed in the side of his head, so his metal is fuck. Um, he's definitely going to appear again. No question. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it, it was really distracting. Not the fault of the show, but just meme in general. Because a Mephisto on like the front of his tent is like, oh, that's a lot of Marvel connection there. Yeah. <laughs> also, one more thing I noticed. I still enjoyed the episodes, and I thought the storytelling was at least pretty good. But geez, the animation sure took a nose dive in this oh, one. Oh, yeah. <sighs> it was yeah. Kind of, it was bad. Especially in the forest episode, uh, I think there was a lot of times where Hero had a really wonky ass face. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm, we blew a lot of money on uh, the Dark Evolution episode a few episodes back, so um, I guess we got to kind of lower the budget a little bit for yeah. the following episodes. So and here's hoping I, to get back to some better stuff. Yeah. Well, and I know that the, these shows are usually like really tight on deadline when they animated mm. it i don't know how far ahead they were animating these two episodes i 
like earlier a few weeks ago at least within this season there was some covid related incident mm -hmm. in japan where they were a little more heightened and alert right. so i don't know if they have anything to do with it i don't mm -hmm. know i haven't heard anything but i wouldn't be surprised yeah it's it's been difficult for everybody and I know the, an the, the anime industry has been really struggling with it, so... Mm -hmm. you gotta cut them a little slack, I guess. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's yeah. not gonna laugh at the faces. <laughs> it's, still, <laughs> it's still not the worst anime that I've no, seen, so... No, no, it's not. Oh, no. There's, there's, there's plenty worse, so... It's just or... noticeable drop. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that'll about do it, wrap us up for this week, guys. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening, and be sure to let us know on section or on our socials uh what you thought about these episodes and uh what you think the the devil man could uh could could be involved with in in terms of going forward so he's devimon's best bro yeah I man i'm sure they, they seem like they'd be they'd hang out yeah uh well everybody thank you for all for listening uh stay safe out there and we will catch you all again next time bye bye, -bye.